Hello, good people. Earlier today, I was in Michael's and I showed you that I was picking up some, some materials, some fabrics that I didn't need to buy, but I bought them anyway. Um, and I wanted to make some earrings with them. So this is, this is a pair of earrings that I made using this fabric. And in the video that I have done for you, I'm going to uh, show you how I made these. Uh, these are fabric and leather. Uh, and then I also made some others with fabric, some with fabric and leather and some with fabric and paper. So these are with the, this fabric and leather is inside. And these I made with this fabric. Um, and these are made with paper on the inside. So stay tuned for the video to see how I made these. Hello, hello, good people. This is Sherry. I'm going to show you what I'm working on today. I'm doing an, doing an experiment today. I'm working with some veg tanned leather, and it's very, very thin. Uh, it's the kind that you can, it's safe, supposedly it's safe to cut on the Glowforge, but I'm not going to cut it on the Glowforge today. I did uh, make a um, template on my Glowforge. I got a piece of quarter inch um, clear acrylic and I made this template for this earring that I want to make. So I'm going to use this to trace onto the leather and then uh, cut it. But I want, I want my shape to be just perfect. So I figured I'd do a template. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut my leather. Then I'm going to attach the fabric. I have cut uh, three little pieces of this fabric that I got from Michaels. Michaels, well, my Michaels just started carrying fabric, and I just happened to see that today. Um, and I, I really shouldn't be buying any more fabric, but I'm addicted to fabric, so I bought some. Anyway, it's beautiful. These batiks, beautiful batiks. Look at, look at this red and this pink, this yellow and orange, and this blue and green purple and blue and green this brown and orange and this is for my for my grandsons i don't know what i'm gonna make for them but i'm gonna make something for them out of this so let me i'm gonna i'm gonna cut this and then i'm gonna cut the leather and then i'm gonna show you uh, how i glue it on I got some heavy duty leather cutting scissors. So these should do pretty well. Anyway, I guess you don't need to see me <laughs> see me cut leather, but anyway, this is how it this is how I'm doing it. Okay, what I'm what I've done is I've turned um, cut my pieces. I'm not gonna uh, glue the smooth side, I'm going to glue the fabric to the rough side or this kind of suede side of the, um, the material. So I'm going to squeeze this glue on here. I think I wish I had gotten a bigger bottle of this glue. If this turns out nice, I'm going to do lots of this. But I'm going to get a good amount of glue on here. Then I'm going to spread it with my um, with my sponge brush. Okay, so this is okay. So I'm just going to spread it very good. Ooh, I mean the fabric and the and the leather. So we could get a do this because the leather is flexible and the design that I'm doing is a flexible design. Let me use my credit card to squeegee this down. I'm gonna help it. Oh, I don't want it to wrinkle in there. Oh, it's trying to wrinkle in there. So I'm gonna pull that up. And smooth it down. Okay. Now, just gonna I'll smooth it down. I'm gonna, gonna put it some 
place and let it dry. No, I don't have enough glue right there in that corner, I see. So. Okay. No. Let's move that down. I think I'm going to put something on top of this to keep it flat, to keep the leather flat. And. The glue that I'm using is Aileen's Fabric, Fabric Fusion. I um, googled how to glue, um, how to glue fabric and leather and this was one of the um, products that they recommended so I went and got that while I'm waiting for my for my uh, glue to dry I decided that I would paint the back of the paint the leather side um, a complementary color so that's what I'm gonna do I went and got my Cobra color leather paint pack so I'm gonna do that Everything is dry now, so I'm going, going to use my template to cut my shapes. After I cut my leather and fabric, I decided to cut fabric and cardstock. And after I cut the fabric and cardstock, I decided to just cut leather in that same shape. I cut enough fabric to cover both sides of a letter sized piece of cardstock. And then I put Mod Podge on uh, both sides of the paper of the cardstock. And then I applied the fabric to it, let it dry, and then I got ready to cut it. I spread Mod Podge on both sides of the fabric covered paper to give it more durability. I let the paper dry and now it's ready for me to use my template and cut my shape.